Hello everyone, my name is Janina and today's video is going to be my October wrap up. I only read five books this month, but I still think that's a pretty good number, especially for me because I normally read around three or four books a month. So five books is still pretty good. And yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna like get started with what I read this month. The first book that I read is Half a War by Joe Abercrombie, which is the third and last book in the Shattered Sea series. And I actually really like the third book. I still think the first book is my favorite because the main character, Brother Yarvi, uh, was, was the main character and in the second and the third book we have different main characters. We still see him as a character, obviously, but he's not the main character, so I was like a little bit sad about that fact, actually. In the third book we follow a princess who, at the beginning of the book, sees her family getting murdered. She kind of has to adapt to the fact that she is now a queen and she learns how to be a queen and she also has to deal with the fact that there is an impending war happening. She has to help with the war management, how the different parties come together, like how she can help in the war with her skills that she has. So basically in the whole book everyone comes together and this big war happens and it's like this big showdown basically. And like I said, I liked it. But I wish there was more of Brother Yarvi. If you have like a main character you really like, you kind of want to see as much as you can from that character. So I was a little bit sad that he was not like the main main character in the other two books. But I still think the, um, the showdown and the conclusion of the book was very well done and most of the characters were interesting. I, I was not like in love with the characters, but um, I, as long as I had Brother Yarvi, I was happy with that. And I gave the book 3.5 to 4 stars. The next book that I read was Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. And I read Vicious just earlier this year and I really liked it because Victor is such an interesting and grey and dark character and I love characters like that. So I look very forward to Vengeful, which is the second book in the trilogy, I believe. We still follow Victor and Sydney and his little group of friends and how they meet other people with special skills and we still have our like main villain from the first book, Eli. We still have all these characters in the second book, but we also have some new characters. There's a wonderful woman being introduced in the second book. She's called Marcella and I adored her. She is such a strong and smart and tough woman and I loved her character so much. She was so fascinating and interesting. Like everything about her and her story was interesting to read for me personally. There were some other characters that I didn't care for so much, like new characters, but um, most of the characters I really adore, especially like I said, Victor, I really really like. They all had their own story and their own plotline, but it all came together in a really good way, I felt. So yeah, I really like that about the book. The writing style was amazing. It's very fast paced and it's such a page turner, which I'm really surprised about because I read the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy by V.E. Schwab as well. And I think the writing style in these books are very different from how she writes in the Villains series. And I, because I, I didn't really like the Darker Shade of Magic um, trilogy, I didn't like the writing style as much. But in Vengeful and Vicious, it's so easy to read and it's so well um, put together and just the words she uses and the sentence structure and everything is so easy to read and I really love that. So I'm really glad that this is kind of different from the um, Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, like how, uh, how she writes. So um, yeah, like I love Vengeful. It was such a good book. I wasn't too happy with the ending, to be honest. That's why it not a full five stars book for me personally because it's not easy for me to find five stars books to be honest but I was very glad that I liked the second book in this series. Vengeful was an amazing book for me because I love fast-paced books and so much happened in this and so many bad things happened. It's such a dark and twisted book and I really really like that. We also get to know more about Eli we didn't see a lot of his past in the first book, but now in the second book we learn much more about him, which I found super interesting and very fascinating. So yeah, I really liked it. Like I said, I gave it 4.5 stars out of 5 stars. 
The next book that I read was Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Because it's October, I thought maybe like reading some kind of like horror or spooky book. So I picked up Bird Box because it's very short. It's around 270 pages or something. So it was very easy to read. It's also very fast paced and um, the writing style is very easy to read. Um, sometimes a little bit too easy. I, th I thought it's set in America and something happens which makes people basically go crazy if they see it. So there's something out like on the streets, some creatures or some kind of being. And if you see that you're turning crazy and you start killing yourself or start killing and hurting other people. But um, yeah, that's one of the things that I was like not so happy about because there's still a lot of questions being left unanswered at the end of the book. And yeah, I didn't really appreciate that because I had still so many questions. I thought the idea was really great and like the plot idea and everything. It had a lot of potential and um, most of it I liked. It was like an, a, good, a good like spooky book for in between. There could have been like more to it, I think. So yeah, the main character was really cool. She's a very strong woman and she um, did things that had to be done, you know. There are a lot of like spooky um, scenes in it where I was like, oh man, that's uh, kind of scary and like like frightening in a good way. So I, I like that a lot. I gave it three out of five stars because it was it was fine. It wasn't great. It was it wasn't like the best book I ever read, but it was fine and it was fun. So yeah, I liked it. The fourth book that I read in October was Beneath the Citadel by Destiny Soria. I heard some good things on Goodreads about it and the premise sounded interesting and it had some LGBT plus themes. So that's why I picked it up in the end. It's about a group of um, teenagers who kind of want to rebel against the Citadel, basically. The Citadel has a council who kind of decides how the society is being run. If people are against the decisions that the Citadel council does, they get punished. So they're basically the law of the um, yeah of the city and the surrounding and the the people. We have these teenagers who really don't agree with what the council does and are really like rebellious about the whole punishment thing and about how they run the society and everything. We follow them how they like plan to take them out. The main character is called Casa and her parents were like the leaders of the rebellion a few years ago. Um, and now she kind of wants to take after them and to yeah overthrow the High Council. She gets help from her friends Evander, Newt and Alice and they kind of come together and follow Cassa's plan to overthrow this council. And there's a lot of like religious topics and a little bit of supernatural topics as well because um, some people have like different skills for example like seeing into the future or controlling metals and stuff like that so there are some fantasy elements to this book um, like I said there are some LGBT plus themes which I really liked but um, in the end for me the book was mainly very boring to be honest because there's not a lot of dialogue in the book so we have a lot of text and text and text and a lot of information and a lot of like details which can feel a little bit exhausting to read if there's not like a little bit of dialogue in between to make it to make it read uh, more smoothly. I felt a lot of things could be edited out um, to make it more compressed and more easier to read but uh, I liked some of the characters a lot especially Evander was super interesting for me and I really liked him. Yeah I didn't care for Casa very much because she's very rash and very stubborn. I'm not a big fan of super rash uh, main characters to be honest. But I do think there is a lot of potential in that book, so the author can maybe build up on that. So yeah, I gave it three out of five books. It was still it was still an okay book for me. So yeah. The last book I read in October was George by Alex Gino. George is a middle grade book about a little girl who discovers that she is trans and that she wants to be the the person that she is, which is a girl and not a boy. So she kind of struggles with the fact that people around her call her boy and that she doesn't feel like a boy at all. We follow her through her like school 
live for a few weeks where there's going to be um, a play and in that play she would like to um, play one character that is a girl but her teacher says she can't play that character because she is a boy and only girls can play that character but she kind of makes a plan with her best friend so yeah that maybe the play doesn't go as planned and um, yeah we follow her how she comes to terms with the fact that she feels more like a girl and that she wants to be a girl and we see how other people around her react to the fact that she wants to be a girl and most of them react quite well I thought especially her best friend is so amazing I love George's best friend she's super sweet and very supportive and I really love that it's a very sweet book, it's very heartwarming, but also kind of shows the fact with what trans people have to deal with sometimes from a very young age and how reactions from other people, how bad other people's reaction could be. I think if you don't know a lot about trans people and especially in this book you follow a trans girl, right? So if you don't know a lot about that, I think this book is a good introduction in how maybe a little girl could feel when she discovers that she is not a boy but she um, is a girl and wants to be treated as a girl. I think it's really helpful to kind of um, you know uh, get started with the whole topic it's a good start for like educating yourself I think because it's like I said very heartwarming and very sweet and still very positive with some very realistic topics though it's a middle grade book so I only gave it three out of five stars because middle grade books are just um, they never really catch me as much as uh, maybe books for adults can so um, but I think it's still a very important book and if you're interested in LGBT topics, especially trans topics, I think you should pick it up because it um, really helps you to get started into that whole topic and help you to understand maybe a little bit better. Yes, these are all the books that I read in October. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of books you maybe read this month and I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!